If we check the MSDN and check the object class documentation, we can find the method getType. Object is the base class for all classes, which means that we can call each one of the methods that was declared in object on every object. Here we look at the getType method. We can call getType on every object. GetType returns a reference for uh, an object instantiated from the class type. Yes, there is a class with the name type. Let's take a look at the documentation of type. The type class represents a type declaration. Each object instantiated from type represents a specific type declaration. It can be a, 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 a declaration of interface, class, value type, etc. What we get when we call the get type method is a reference for a type object that represents the type of the specific object on which we called the get type method in this code sample we have str that holds a reference for a string object we have i that holds a value the value 8 its type is int. We have the variable b that holds the 3.4 um, value, double value, and we have the variable ob that holds a reference for uh, an object that was instantiated from the class program. When we call the getType method on the object, its references is placed within the str variable we actually call the get type method on a string object in this case get type returns a reference for a type object an object instantiated from the class type that represents the string class and here when we print out to the screen the return value of to string when it is called on the type object that represents the class string we get the um, full qualified name of the class string let's see how does it work system.string Similar is similar to, to to the string object is this line here. We get an object instantiated from the class program and its reference is placed within the OB variable. Then when we call ob.getType we actually get call the get type method on the program object and the return value is a reference for a type object that represents the declaration of the program class here we call the toString method on that specific type object and get back printed to the screen the full qualified name of the class program com.abelsky.samples.program Here, if you te we take a look at these specific two lines, we can see two primitive type values. The first, its type is int. The second is 
type is double. In this case, these two variables hold each one of them holds a value, not a reference for an object. Nevertheless, we can still call the get type method indirectly. What happens is that the get type method is executed on the object we have underneath representing the specific primitive type value. In C sharp, every primitive type value has underneath, behind, um, a, an object that represents it. And when we execute this code, we can see that when we call the get type on a primitive type um, variable, we call it on the object that represents the value that variable holds. And the specific object in case of type int is an object instantiated from system.int32. And when the case is a primitive type value with the type double, the underneath on the background object is an object instantiated from system.double.